Hey there, it's School Dude Clem here, or School Dude Clem as some of you think I say. Anyway, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase here. Now, some of you may or may not know that I'm looking for a new camera to do my Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop videos with. Because, you know, I want to get back to that, but without a good camera, it's just not worth it at the moment. So I've been looking online, seeing if I could find any good cameras, and haven't really found anything that I think would be good enough. So anyway, I've written down how the camera should be, and I was wondering if you guys could help me out finding a good camera within my budget, which is about £50. So, firstly, the camera needs to record at at least 1080p and at least 30 frames a second at 1080p. Now, I've found some cameras that do that, webcams mainly, but problems with those is that, well, it's all wide-angle lenses and digital zoom, which is just not going to be usable for my videos. So, we'll go online here, so... My first idea was to get a webcam, you see. Because there's a lot of good webcams out there for a reasonable price. This one's just a little bit, tiny bit out of my budget, but I could probably... probably just about squeeze that. The trouble is, you don't know if the cameras are any good or not. Let's have a look at the specifications. I'll find it. I mean, yeah. It says, um, where is it now? What does it say? Yeah, full 80, full 1080p HD with 30 frames a second. But is it? Or is it some lower resolution upscaled? They don't say. Have a look at some of the customer reviews here. So there's a lot of positive reviews, but let's scroll down to the bottom. See all reviews. There's a lot of negative reviews. So it could be good or bad. You just don't know. There's a couple of other potential candidates for cameras here. Like this one here. But again, it doesn't say <clears throat> what the viewing angle is. It doesn't say, you know, is it 90 degrees? Is it 170 degrees? Is it 65 degrees? It doesn't. There's no information on that. I uh, have a look at another camera here. Um. And this one here, again, it doesn't say what kind of lens it has. And, you know, don't know if it's any good. I mean, for instance, here it says 8 megapixels, but is it? Is that the actual resolution of the camera? Or is it something much lower than that? I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was 1080p or something like that, you know. That would be fine. But if I was to buy that camera and connect it up and find that the image quality was absolute trash, then, you know, it wouldn't be any good. And there's no pictures taken from it or custom reviews with video footage or anything like that, so you just don't know what it's going to be like. I also had a look on some other sites like Banggood, see if I could find any um, good cameras for that price. But, you know, most of them are jokes. Like, this one here... Oh, for God's sake. Does anybody know how to block these stupid things? Yeah, like I said... Let's just look at the 
size of that lens is tiny. That's a freaking joke. I found one that's a little better. I thought this would be a good camera. Um, just scroll up to it so we can actually see it. Now, this camera here, <clears throat> it's good price, you know, it's within my budget. I thought, yeah, this would be a good camera. I had a look at the specs. And yeah, it's got good recording specs. We've got um, 4K at 25 frames a second. Okay, it's not a very good frame rate, but better than nothing. And 2.7K, 30 frames a second. If I can just get that highlighted without it highlighting the other thing. And 1080p. 60 frames a second. And that would have been perfect. But then look at the lens that they put on it. Stupid 170 degree wide angle. Why do they have to do... Why couldn't they just put a normal lens on that? Instead of having this stupid barrel distortion fisheye wide angle... Just... Just why? Why can't they just put normal lenses on these cameras? That's kind of ridiculous. I mean, some of you might even have one of those webcams that I um, showed and know if it's good or bad. You know, like I was saying, if you can suggest a good camera at that price range. You know, under £50. Or even if you want to donate one. But yeah, see these are things that I don't want the camera to have. We already spoke about the wide angle lens. I hope OBS is still recording, I better just check that. So it cut out about halfway through last time I did, okay, yep, that's still going. But yeah, wide angle lens is something, we, something just not going to be usable. Especially if it's something like 170 degrees, you know. Another thing I don't want it to have is a silly thing where it sharpens the edges of objects and makes it look horrible. So I've seen a lot of webcams that do that. And while they do that, they also blur the objects of textures. You know, I mean the textures of objects, like I've said here, it makes it look like Vaseline, you know, it makes it look like you've got an object with sharp edges, and but with Vaseline smeared all over, and it just looks garbage, you know? And of course, we've, I've talked about this, the lower resolution than what it states it has. So, yeah, like my Panasonic HD camera, that I used to film my YouTube videos over the past three years or so. <coughs> That's claims to have full 1080p. And it records videos at the full 1080 resolution. But I can tell you that is not a 1080 sensor that's in there. Or rather 2K should I say. Yeah, so, if a camera states that it's 1080p, the sensor in it should be 1080p. That's how it should be. And of course, I've already spoken about the budget that I'm willing to spend here on a camera. And if it, I mean, some of those phones, you know, they, they've got really good cameras in them. I'm sure that camera isn't the most expensive part. I mean, if I can find a camera that's got a picture quality as good as that, then, you know, that would be great, you know, for that, that kind of money. And yeah, I just um, mentioned a couple of other things that doesn't need, you know, all the fancy bells and whistles that you get on cameras these days. So yeah, like I said, if any of you know a good camera, or maybe you've got one of those cameras yourself and you know if it's good or bad then yeah I'd really appreciate any in any feedback you can give me on this because I'm stumped at the moment on a good camera to find 
So anyway, um, I'm going to leave that in your hands now, and yeah. Until next time, goodbye.